Hello, my friends, near and far, all over the world. We want to share a Thingmaker moment with you. Now, Thingmaker, back in the 60s, was a toy by Mattel, and it involved a really hot cooking plate, and you made your own toys. Before there were, like, printers that could print out plastic toys that are, like, 21st century, there was us in the primitive dark ages pouring liquid plastic, superheating it, and creating our own toys. This was from the third series of thing maker toys called fighting men we'll get to that in a second first let's take a look at all this cool stuff that i've unearthed this was your thing maker you plug that in and it got to be like 350 400 degrees and then you fill this mold with plastic goop that's a tarzan mold by the way you put it in there you had to make sure you took out the the handle because if the handle got superheated and you forgot about it that's how you burn your hands then it would cook and cook and cook and cook and then you'd put the handle back in and then this was filled with cold water and you put go and then you take it out when it was sufficiently cooled and you use a little needle and you pull out a tarzan there's tarzan there's batman there's a skeleton fighting man mold now again that's three-dimensional we fill that up with goo and we shut that and that was amazing and there's superman and there's a giant bug because i like that that's the mite now if you take a second keep looking at that stuff we're going to take a look at the guys themselves and I'm going to show you Paper Trail. This, these molds were sold separately. There's the Superman mold. You can make Superman. You can make a pin. You can make a guy that flies if you put rubber in it. You can make a ring. And there's like, can you see that in that light? There's the instructions for how to make the Superman accessory kit work. That was Superman. There's Tarzan and Cheetah. Oh, my God. It cost me a buck ninety-seven at Target. I didn't even know Target was around back then. And there's, again, the instructions. God knows why I saved all this, except I thought I should save everything. Now, Batman didn't come with a character. That was a pencil topper. Give me a break. Or a bat bracelet. Or bat shooters. Again, you put elastic band or rubber band. Not rubber band. Elastic band in there. Pins and bat stamps. Green Hornet was another one. Okay? He didn't have any cool figure either. But we put all those guys aside for a moment. And let's take a look at these guys. So here's a bunch of Superman. Oh, my God. And Tarzans. Tarzan, 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 Superman. These guys, oh, here's a here's a Tarzan, and here's like a rocket ship thing that I stole off another guy, and it made him fly around. He was having a good day that day. There's a scorpion. This is all a bunch of Tarzans, Tarzans, Tarzan. Here's half of a fighting man. So I took this mold, I did not put the top on it, and I made half a guy. Again, these were all really cool guys. Tarzan, 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 Tarzan. But wait, there's more. Let's take a look at what's in this bag, and then I'll let you get going here. So there's more Tarzan, flesh-colored Tarzan. Here's that. Here's this goofy thing that we tried to make with elastic, but I know this elastic's over 50 years old. So somehow you put elastic on this, and you can shoot that guy. Oh, here's that skeleton guy. Again, he went in a skeleton mold. Where'd he go? Hang on. So he came in parts. And then you made these joiner pieces right there. And those were like the, 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 I don't know, the bolts that hold him together. And he can, and then he came with this piece right here and then you could hang him up. I once had dozens, if not hundreds of these guys just hanging in my bedroom. Here's another guy. You can tell I was getting artistic. So it's with clear plastic goop and red. Ooh, very spooky. Here's Superman with a cape. Oh my goodness. And another Superman with a cape. And this was creeple people. Again, pencil toppers seemed to be a big deal there. So you put a pencil up his neck. It came out the top of his head. And then there was a thing called a, a, a neck ring. And you put that on there, and that was on your pencil. That was pretty cool. We got one more bag to look at, and then I'll let you go. Because, in fact, there's one of those neck rings. Okay, can you see that? See that? And that would go right there, and then he would stay on your pencil. And what else have we got in here? Oh, that's fun flowers. That was never one of my favorites. That was a little bit too, not my style. Here's a couple of these more creeple people. Back when you were a kid, you loved ugly stuff. And now here's some guys that are stuck together. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Trouble, trouble, warning, warning. So we'll put those guys back in there. Well, my friends and friends, again, this is one of my desert island toys. People say, what was your favorite toy? When I'm at the exhibit and I'm doing my walk around talk about toys. And this is how you made toys. Look at all those guys. That's not even the beginning. You can look at previous posts and you'll see me digging and dredging up thing maker mayhem. Monsters, heroes, fighting men. They were all like at our beck and call. And it was all like, you were making them. How cool was that? We're going to look at another bag in the next segment. And if you want to go back and look 
through the previous library of stuff. I've got a fighting man. I've got this and that and that and this. And one of these days, we're going to make stuff. Okay? We'll talk to you later. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.